Welcome friends, Goat Toaster 9, JJ Shankles here, back for another episode. Today we've got an audio review. Today's review is of the Link Flex AD2 by Comica. This is for the scenario where you've got this nice XLR mic, but it needs phantom power, and you want to run it straight into your camera. You don't want to run it through an external recorder that has an XLR input. You want it straight on your camera, simplify your setup, simplify the rig. And that's where this comes in. So we're going to test it out today how well it works. Does it work better or worse than just running it straight into an external recorder? And to fully test that out, we're going to run them both into this Zoom HN4 Pro. It takes both mic jacks and XLR inputs. So first I'm going to run the microphone straight through the XLR inputs. That'll test the noise levels. And then we're going to run it through the Comica into the microphone jack on the back. That'll see how much noise it's adding because this also has a gain knob. It does have phantom power. It can deliver phantom power to your microphone. It has a gain knob, so we're going to test that one out to see how clean that gain is, how good it can be pushed all the way up. Especially for a lot of DSLR mirrorless cameras, the auxiliary microphone preamps aren't very good, especially in the Nikon Z6 that I'm filming with right now. So let's get this unboxed. Pretty simple. It's a full foam enclosure inside. You get some literature if you want to read about it. Here's a Velcro strap, which is nice to strap it onto somewhere. And then you get the device. Protected in foam here. It's really nice. It does seem secure. The package is, it is entirely plastic on the website and all the pictures. It does look metal, but it's actually a plastic, just sort of brushed to look like brushed metal. All plastic. You have a headphone port, which would be good for monitoring your audio. On the side, you have three different dials. This bottom one, you can use to switch this input to make it an input microphone or an output to headphones so you can monitor from there. On the middle, you can use, if you're gonna be recording on a phone or a camera, it changes the output. Or if you have it off, there's an off, on, and then on with phantom power delivered to your microphone. So you will need to know if you need that 48 volts phantom power to the XLR microphone or not. Make sure you don't mess this up, you could ruin a microphone. Plastic XLR jack up here, but it is a hybrid port. It will also take a TRS sort of guitar amp plug in the middle there. So that's nice. On the back is the battery. It is important to know it does run on nine volt batteries. There's no internal battery you can charge off here. So that is an extra expense. You will have to keep nine volt batteries around. Luckily I went out and picked one up. Make sure you check the polarity on the battery and do not mess that up. You could ruin a device. Off, on, phantom power. Pretty simple, straightforward. We're gonna set it to camera mode because it's going straight into a camera device. So here I've got the rig. I'm gonna mount the microphone right here. It is also important to know that this jack, it won't fit directly into your microphone. Some microphones might work, but this one doesn't. This is the Audio-Technica AT897, and it doesn't plug directly in. It's too wide here on the end for those to be compatible. So you do still have to run a cable. So now you run the cable from the microphone around and into this device, and this you could plug directly into your camera. But for testing purposes, I really want to test it into the same device we can plug the microphone directly into as well. So I got it working now. It is really nice to be able to monitor directly through some headphones, uh, directly into the device. You just plug them in down here and it seems to work. I do have it on microphone out, camera out, and phantom power. Those are the three settings on the side and it seems to work. Specifically with the Zoom H4n Pro, you do need it at pretty low settings. So I'll switch around and do some audio. I'll mark on the bottom of the screen, probably down here somewhere, what which audio device you're listening through, be it the Deity D3 Pro going directly into the Z6 or this Audio-Technica 897. Yep, 897 going through this setting. I'm also gonna crank this up while not talking to show you kind of what noise level there is. One of the lights does have a fan on it, so there's a little bit of fan noise in the room, not too much that it should be able to pick it up all that bad especially in a room like this, and with the microphone being a shotgun mic this close to my face, you shouldn't be hearing too much background noise. So, all the way down. So 
So there's a little bit of background noise. So there's a little bit of background noise. Trying to take it down low enough because this mic is so close to my face and it's very hot coming out of this device, which is really good to have that ability to really crank it up if your recording device isn't very hot. Like for a DSLR camera and you need to crank that preamp all the way down. This I'm talking pretty clearly, pretty softly actually, talking into this and it seems to be working pretty well. Um, really nice to have the ability to monitor it and that they even have an option that does all of it with phantom power. The cheaper version of it doesn't have phantom power, so if you have an XLR microphone that doesn't need phantom power, then you can just get the basic one. I think it's the AD1, and there's AD2 is this one, then there's an AD3, which I think has two different inputs. Um, each one is a different price point, but this one I like right in the middle. Very useful, so I could take this microphone and take it outside, take it traveling, take it wherever I need to be. I don't need a setup with this kind of rig here, and I won't need a match it all in post. With this one, I have an SD card that comes out of here and I have to take this audio file and this video file and try to match them all up in post. It's, it's not a huge deal, but it is an extra step. And if that's the extra step that stops you from content creating, then maybe this is the item for you. Maybe this is what you've been looking for. And hopefully this review is enough to show you kind of the noise level, kind of how easy it is to use. It was, it was surprisingly easy to figure out. You look in the instruction manual and really it tells you what these three buttons do. You set them correctly for your rig, how you have it rigged up, how you have it set up, and you're ready to go, ready to roll. The headphone monitoring is really easy for troubleshooting. You plug that in, you make sure audio is traveling through it correctly, and you're ready to go. So I'll probably keep using this in videos going forward. So make sure you like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any more videos on this channel where I use all this equipment together. And I'll keep throwing in all kinds of tips, tricks, tutorials. I think that's what this channel is all, all about, is figuring out what gear is good for you, how you rig it up yourself, because everyone's got their own system, their own camera, their own location they're shooting in. This is kind of the corner of a bedroom that I'm shooting in, and this is the setup that works for me. Maybe you're shooting a lot outside, and a different setup is in entirely what you need and this was totally impractical for you but let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions about this or any other way you want to see it used how you want me to rig it up and see if it works for your use case before you plop any money down on it maybe it's not the item for you if it's not don't waste your money on it don't spend money on something you don't need in your rig kit because there's always something else you can rig up because maybe your current mic setup is working great but if you do have an xlr mic and this is the item for that to work perfectly in your kit maybe it is the item for you and if you use the Amazon affiliate link down below, it helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. But I think that sums everything up. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Goat Toaster out.